ladies and gentlemen, uh, <laughs> my name is Allison Cruz, and if this amalgamation of unusual noises isn't enough to entice you to watch further, then welcome to Toy Story 2. Uh, it's very odd. Uh, last time on the game, we took on the elevator hop, and for whatever reason, this stage actually felt really short, even though the amount of times I got shafted by this level is uh, pretty astronomical. You know, we made it through, and I feel like we're nearing the end of the game, so without further ado, let's enter this shit show and get it over with. It doesn't sound like it's gonna be good. Now, where's my trusty steed, Bullseye? I have to ride off into the sunset! Oh! Ride like the wind, Bullseye! Uh -huh. oh. <laughs> Watch it. Wait, wait. I'm ticklish, okay? Oh, you are? No, 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 no. Get it out. Stop. 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 No, please. Please, no. No, no. Stop. Stop. Mission log. We've reached Zerg's command deck, but no sign of him or his wooden captain. That's Woody. Ow. This way. Buzz, can you see what's going on? To the left. No, your left. Take the pilot. What's happening? Oh, it's, it's horrible. They're, they're torturing him. Uh, what are we going to do, Buzz? Use your head. But I don't want to use my head! I promise you, I am not stopping the ending of these cutscenes with just that position. Oh my goodness. So did we make it through? Let's find out. Oh. 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 Hi. Uh, what the? Why is there a cosmic shield just randomly here? Maybe we'll need it. How is it going, Bullseye? Howdy, boys. If you can break me five horse shoes before you run out of time, I'll give you a big... Wait. Bullseye never spoke, did he? He just literally neighed every what way. Oh, T-Rex is right there. Immediately. Okay. Well, this is the living room. Oh, and that is definitely an on-fire one-man. Ooh, hi. There is a, a lock on that cabinet. I have a feeling we probably shouldn't break it. <laughs> oh, we have, like, no time on this. We have no time. No time. Okay, I smell survived. Gotta get back to him. Quick, quick, quick. <laughs> there we go. Ooh. Alright, found all the horseshoes. But no hand grenades. Damn. Alright, well that wasn't terrible. So, we'll keep on playing. I, I kind of dig this song, actually. It's pretty good. Alright, what you got for me? Okay, so we can get the token on top of the train bed if you solve the train puzzle. We need the train to stop on the dead end track. Okay. Interesting. I think we'll know what that means later. The gunslinger boss is in Woody's roundup set in the trophy room. Interesting. Ham is in the bathroom. <laughs> so we can reach the bathroom through a hidden vent. Look for- oh, locks! Weird. So you must be right in front of the bathroom then. Jessie has lost her critters. She is on the kitchen table. Wow. Irresponsible pet owner. How dare you. And, alright, so train bed. We'll figure that out next time we see a train, I guess. Interesting. I'm kind of digging this entire, like, situation of everything. There's also, like, crows. I don't know how to get this. Oh, you know what? That's probably what the, uh, what the thing is for. <laughs> the thing. The cosmic shield. We bring it over there through the fire. So this must take us to the bathroom. I'm gonna do the bathroom later since we don't have the necessary amount of coins for him. And it's just kind of pointless to have to go back there again and again. And this thing, excuse me, do you freaking mind, man? Oh, oh my god, we can't do anything about that. Okay. Um, that sucks. Also, our health definitely carries on from stage to stage. That is not good. At least for me. There you go. He's, you're, you're dead snake. I guess the fact that they're here now snakes makes all the much more sense there is a critter over there we should probably go save him Ooh. nice nice lovely painting man al has an impeccable taste in art <laughs> get away there we go okay so we're gonna head up here and the song i'm actually digging it 
it's just like such a nice guitar and just like the horn then also the mega the mega laser okay here we go we're doing this oh my god what the uh the angle of that was really weird okay we'll try it again we do need to get that though it seems for that unless we could like angle it up here oh there's a switch that might actually turn off the fireplace i just don't know why it would be up there <laughs> interesting all right so let's go over here and try to get through this level as quickly as we can. I have my suspicions. We will be doing a boss after this, but um, I do not want to get the song stuck in my head because it's going to make me want to play like Red Dead 2 or something. What? Did I just go right through it? What in the world? Okay, this actually could be real bad um, if I'm not careful. <laughs> okay, we're going to try it one more time and then we'll come back to it later. Okay. Maybe that opens the door to the bathroom. And that's just how Al gets to go. <laughs> Man, this is such a nice place. Who knew that being like a collector of fine children's toys would have like paid so well? Okay. So these are like so awkwardly placed. So try this. And then like a delayed. There we go. Alright, that's more like it. Oh, oh, I see. Okay, that's dumb. Um, so we destroyed that, made it over here. Okay, so let's head down. Oh, we have some boxes. Ugh. Okay, so there's the train in there. That's not good. Train in vain. All right, we're gonna go this way. Actually, one moment. I would like to see the kitchen for a second, because that's where he said Jesse was, and this kind of looked like it to me, because of the tile floor. So let's run in here and explore oh my god there's banditos oh my god shock and rain i have no frags first pants Ugh. okay okay this is bad so i was reading on the wikipedia page for this game that <laughs> oh god joan cusack hold on just a second that there was actually controversy over the release of this game on the depiction of like mexican gunslingers and i just thought of that <laughs> it was referring to this stage all right so it looks like he has is that supposed to be milk maybe under like we have bottles of absinthe some uh butter and also poison wow all right al's a straight up alcoholic cool so is this how we get onto here nice this is a nice ass kitchen for a penthouse though all right let's go over here and uh let's talk to just oh my god what have they done to you jesus christ no time to lose. jesus i'm so sorry no Over here, oh god howdy buzz. howdy buzz that is terrifying as all hell i hate it okay i will find your friends but you have to promise never to speak to me again <laughs> goodness gracious man god this is the atmosphere that this game has is like really good also like electronic stoves good god <sighs> okay so we go over here i take it there's a critter we have to go maybe all the way around i'm thinking Ugh, don't like that so we'll stand on this we'll go up along top Ugh, god damn dude and not get hit by a cannon yeah because we're gonna have to use these to get across Ugh. Oh, no, 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 I accidentally, what the, I was pressing up. That was, that was dumb. All right. Is this just going to be the episode of terrible platformings that I'll be doing here? There we go. All right, try one more time. Uh, get shot on the face. Yeah, I accidentally double tap the A, like, pre oh, you keep sliding. You keep sliding, that's why. Okay, so you just have to keep jumping on these. It's the first time we've seen that. Ugh, God, man. Here, let's go this way. Ah, there we go. Be gone, cannon. Okay. So, there you go. It looked like you were floating there for a second. He's just waiting there like... <laughs> All right, let's keep on going this way. Yeah, there we go. Done. Is that it for this room? I think so. All right, there it is. We'll have words later. For now, I leave. Okay, so this basic half of the area is done. Can I backtrack at all? Can I backtrack any? Probably not, nope. All right, cool. Good to know. Where did Woody go, by the way? I expected him to be around here, you know, if not because Jim Cusack was here also. 
At least imposter Joan Cusack. Wait, how am I supposed to get that? Oh, you just have to like keep tapping. There we go. I got the one man, even though I didn't need it. So those stay destroyed. I'm assuming we probably get a bonus token for destroying it, uh, all of them. So let's go forward. I want to do this room last-ish, just to see what it might entail for us. Ooh, hello. Oh, which means this must be the trophy room. Yeah, this definitely looks like a room where someone would place their trophies. All right, well, I'm just gonna, ooh, get shot in the face. That's painful. All right, so again, we're gonna have to go along the perimeter so that we can get to a certain part of the stage. Interesting, look at this guy, he's so happy. Good God. Hmm. Yeah, well, let's keep on pushing this. It looks like we'll have to take this box into the other room also, which is kind of weird. We just have this multi-use box to use to get on top of things. We go push this lunchbox over and see what that does. Oh, we stand on it, okay. So this is all glassed off. This guy's gonna wreck my business. Is there two, like, cannons in this room? I saw one in the corner. Oh, good God. Ah, don't you do that. Okay, so do I just jump? Oh, yeah, I could totally make that. Okay, cool. New, new. Oh, that didn't do what I thought it would do. <laughs> God, there's enemies everywhere. Good God. Okay. Can you... Jesus. Okay, let's just keep going. I'm not gonna dawdle anymore. <laughs> All right, you, sir. Get down from there. You silly. <laughs> that sound. Okay. So, oh, God, those are electrical. Oh, I needed to stay up there. Shoot. Okay. Okay, well, maybe I can do this. There we go. Man, this stage is rough. Here we go. Oh, wait. This is the gunslinger path. That's right. Stay down, you filthy animal. All right. Time to have a showdown. Here. Yes, against the old gunslinger. <laughs> are you... Are you okay? Something tells me you're not. Can I activate this? Nope. Ha ha ha! Defeat the gunslinger boss to get a piece of blood. Cheese it! Oh, oh my God! He shoots real quick. All right. Well, I think I win, sir, by virtue of being uh, a space cadet, and you're just a little bee. There you go. Oh my God! Look at that! Look at that chin, that neck of his. Holy smokes! This this guy, you didn't know it was coming. Look at these textures. Look at these polygons. Hey, hey! No, I'm crazy. Stop that. And there we go, taking unnecessary amounts of damage. All right, so that is token number two. We do need to hop up here though, maybe? Because we still need a little, oh no, we got the critter of this air. Whoa, hold on. I fell down there for some reason. All right, well, let's end on this. Hold on, I don't wanna have to go all the way around. Okay, was there something up here? No, you just had your light flashing on nothing there? Ow, all right, if you say so. Can't stand on that. Shocker, shocker, surprise. I think we're done with this room. Let's keep on going. Yeah, I'm starting to see kind of like the cookie cutter nature of these stages, just in the sense that I'm still getting shot at. Oh, by a bandito, of course. Yeah, where you're basically in a room where you find uh, like a little critter or collectible, you basically just have to move on to the next one. There's not much else in there. It's fine by me. It, it means that this game goes by quick and we don't have to worry too much about it. But what we can do here in the train room is solve a riddle. So there's things up there. There's also a tutorial block. Interesting. Oddly enough, this music not only makes me want to play Red Dead Redemption 2, but it makes me really want to play that game wet. I don't know if you guys ever played it, but it was kind of a weird, wild game. It was like very Tarantino-esque in its delivery, its stylization, its music. It's pretty cool. I don't know that it would make a great playthrough to watch, but it's very short and I might do it one of these days. Only because of this one stage that I played in Toy Story 2, you know? It's one of those very weird things. We're almost ready to talk to uh, Ham, but let's grab this guy and let's hear what we have to say. Stomp the buttons to change the track points and make the train switch tracks. Get the train to go onto the dead end track so that you can push the box to the... Huh? So I'm assuming... Wait a minute, does this rotate all the way around then? Oh. Because we need to get on top of the big train, I think is what it was saying. But we have some buttons here. 
So I need to find like a dead end somewhere, right? Where are you going? So we tr diverted its tracks. And if I'm okay, uh... Oh, so we need to make him hit this thing right here, I think is what that's saying. Okay, well, I guess if we do this, oof, that might do it. Because otherwise it just loops, right? Same thing for that side. I don't, You could probably do it on both sides, actually, now that I think about it. But Yeah, because we have to get up there. But we need a box. Is there a box on the train tracks? Interesting. There must be. So that's just going to go there. He's got to go on the right, which I think we did set it up so that he doesn't keep going. I am so confused right now. There's absolutely no words that can describe how little I understand what's going on around me. No, it still hit him. All right. Well, I guess maybe I screwed up. If we try something like that. Go around the middle. Yeah, I'm confused. I think we... So we just need to push this all the way back through the train tracks? Is what it's saying? Uh, I don't think that did anything. But I'm just supposed to go and... Okay, so I do bring this back. Oh, I get it. We need to make him hit... I see. I see. Okay. So we need to make him hit the dead end on this side. Like, over there. Um, which hopefully we just did on accident. No. We need to make him hit that so that we can push this all the way along there. Otherwise, we won't be able to push it anymore. I get it. So I screwed something up. So that, let's change this. What the, oh, I'm getting shot at with a cannon. I forgot that was a thing. Yeah, so something tells me I need to push it all the way back and make sure he crashes the train. Because my, my strength, although I could push cinder blocks four times my size, I can't do anything about a little baby locomotive. So, here we go. We'll just keep pushing this. And we'll figure out his path. His pathing, I guess. <laughs> Little angry choo-choo man. Okay. Okay, it makes sense now. Everything T-Rex said did make sense. Okay, so you're over there. Which means this did nothing. But I need to get him onto, I think, the outer track. Is how I fix that. So... Oh no, what 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 did I do? I changed absolutely nothing. <laughs> and then, okay, all right, well, hopefully you weren't using this to play along. Th that's certainly not the intent of these videos, is to show you how to do things. I'm learning just like you are, figuring things out, and uh, you know, I'm just kind of enjoying myself. It's been a while since I've been able to just sit here and just kind of casually pick up a game. Because as of this point, I, you know, Alice in Wonderland and Luigi's Mansion have been done forever. But you're seeing those way before this, which makes sense. And then I have other projects I've been doing. I think I've talked about it at length. But I also have Peggle. That might actually be going up soon in case I want to take a break in recording. Uh, I also have the rest of Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle. That's been done for a while. That's like 40 episodes. <laughs> it's just sometimes you get into a big old recording mood. And then you just don't want to overwhelm people's... Uh, you know, their sub boxes, because that's probably going to make them less likely to watch, really, but I don't know. I've been doing this for well over, what, 10 years now, 12 almost at this point, by the end of 2020. <laughs> so it's one of those things. Actually, that'd be like 13. Anyways, he's dead. He's done. We're good. There we go. Okay, so we just need to find Ham, and he was in the bathroom. So let's go ahead in there, and T-Rex was actually guarding that, but he said the door was locked. So we're gonna head over here, and we're gonna go in through the <laughs> the entertainment cabinet. Sure, why not? Why not? And here we are. Cool. All right. Um. Oh, hammy. Every time I want to say ham, for some reason it makes me want to say toad. You know, I was like, I keep wanting to call him toad. Well, are you around here somewhere? Stomp the buttons to raise and lower the water level. The button in the bottom of the tub will drain all the water. What? What is happening? Interesting. Okay, I heard ham somewhere. Okay, so we are gonna just flood the bathroom. No big deal. Uh, sure. Oh, I see. Welcome to wet dry world, ladies and gentlemen. Good God, I'm not even gonna make the joke. God, okay, so I guess we're officially flooding the bathroom, <laughs> and if I do it up here, there we go, 
Yeah, just call me the Wet Bandits. Oh shoot, I actually have to go up. I have to go up from here. Okay, so these sponges apparently are great platforms, great conduits for progress. Okay, so do I jump up on... I'll jump up on the windows or pff, door sill. Ugh, shoot! Oh no! Okay, well actually, I'm very curious. <laughs> so we came in here, we flooded a dude's penthouse. Um, can I even... Oh, it, it drains itself. Damn. I wanted to leave and see if the rest of the house would have been flooded, but I guess it would only make too much sense. Oh, Hammond's down there. I didn't... Wait a minute. How long have you been down there? Let me see if I can talk to him while the room's flooded. <laughs> but I'm assuming we just take it all the way to the top. But we have to do it in a set amount of time, it seems. So I'm going to go into the shower door instead of the other one. Ooh. 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 No, it's not, not going to work. Damn, that's rough. All right, well, I think if I fall down, the game's just going to be like, Drain, drain. There we go. <laughs> Here you go, Bushy boy. All right, give me that. Give me that. There we go. I want to leave. <laughs> that's kind of incredible, actually. All right. Um, I will go this way. Please. And... Oh, do I have to... What's it doing? Oh, I, th I think it's going to force me to have to drain it. Damn. What a damn shame. Okay. Well, let's try this one more time. Ooh, camera. Hi. And we are going to make it work. The grabbing onto ledges is super inconsistent. I'm not entirely sure why it's so hard and weird. But every time I feel like I should grab onto something, it doesn't. So we'll... Uh, oh, God. Okay, that was kind of me. But let's go run to the living room quick. There's also a bandito in here. Oh yeah, of course. Of course it immediately drains. But this place is A-OK. -okay. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Your bathroom is definitely not being flooded. All right, um, I'll do one more attempt and then I guess I'll start editing because this part is deceptively weird. Like, physics don't make sense like you would expect them to in this game. And I'm not using that as an excuse because it's pretty solid, all things considered. At the same time, I think I've been too spoiled by modern platforming games. Oh, I didn't hit that, did I? Because it feels like you should have definitely been able to at least, you know, sticky hands to it, you know? But, like, you have to be, like, really precise. So, here we go. Nope. Okay. Well, shoot. That is a shame. Okay, now it worked that time. I feel like that's the one that I shouldn't have gotten, but it was immediately after that last attempt. All right, well, here we go. This room is gonna be fully flooded. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. Let's grab that. You're dead. So you must be the last one then. Oh, hi. I just wish Buzz could like swim, you know? You don't have to sink like a ton of bricks. Ooh, okay, okay, physics. There we go. So this is how we get the last, uh, the last little critter. All right, get over here, you little mutt. All right, so I think that is basically it. Want to get out of here though? Want to go and <laughs> see the remnants of damn the wet living room? Oh, leave me be. Yeah, I think that is basically it. So to the kitchen we go. Although there is one more thing that I do want to do over here and uh, it should be pretty obvious by my coin count hey you you owe me money at least someone does around here so they actually expect you to use the interior of this yeah of this refrigerator to go over here can you not okay that's fine uh i'm ready to be done so here you go <laughs> that uh, it's so bad. It's so bad. But we're done. Except we're not quite done. Here, showing off to my future girlfriend. So, that is everything. Look at that gunslinger's stupid portrait. It's so bad. All right, so the tragic thing about this episode is that it's not done yet. Because as per my recollection and everything that we've learned about, you know, the, the two-level rule, it's time to take on the evil Emperor Zerg for a boss. Now, something tells me, actually, this is not the end of the game, because there's still, like, an entirely different section that we have to 
Like, I'm assuming we have to do things at the airport, right? Because that was the entire climax of the movie. So, yeah, let's just go ahead and do this. Um, because we still don't even have the hover boots yet. So there's obviously more to the game. So, yeah, we'll do it. So, we meet again, Buzz Lightyear, for the last time. Ah, it's Zerg! Watch out, he's got an ion blaster! <laughs> <laughs> it's so bad, but it's time for the fight of the century. So, what I propose we do... Buzz Lightyear, your defeat will be my greatest triumph. Uh, really? You think so? Aside from being a self-made emperor ruling your own galaxy, and this is the thing that is going to really put you on the map? You think? Okay, this isn't good. Um, I don't know... Okay, that's all being... Ooh. Interesting. All right. Well, if I, it it does not affect him whatsoever. Do I need to play this like a uh, like Ocarina of Time? Do I just need to deflect like that? That is if he can aim correctly. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Ooh. There we go. <laughs> All right. Well, there goes that idea. Okay. Do I need to actually like hit him physically? Like, I wonder, because he's got like n negative. Oh, there we go. I, I, I like slid right off of him. That was weird. Damn, dude. You're really gonna cap me like that? Alright, look at He's like juking me every step of the way. So if I go over here, look at He's just like, he just maintains the same amount of distance away from me. That's, that's gonna be tricky. Okay, if I can hit you, it would be nice. But no, he's just, I just need to keep him. Oh, thank you for hitting me. Look at He just goes away and I can like hardly jump. Okay, do I need to do something else in the stage? I can't do anything on this upper part, and I, I just can't, like, fathom what else there's to do. There's, like, some stuff over there that I can jump to, but it's too far. There's also, like, a little ladder here. That's not going to do anything. All right, let me try this. I'll try and get you. Do I need to, like, corner you or something? Do I need to resort to game facts? Because <laughs> he goes, I can't do anything while he's out there. Like, it's just nothing. It looks like I already did some damage, but do I just need to trap him against the center? He's way too slippery. Oh boy, this is going to be a train wreck, isn't it? Okay, so I'll wait for him to do his juke, and then I will juke him myself, like this. Did I get... No? Did I... He just goes over the ledge. What in the world? Okay. This is... This is horrible. Um... Okay. I... I, I don't understand what to do here. I'm sorry to say. I might just look up what you need to do. Because look at He's just running away. And I feel real dumb that I don't know what I'm doing. He goes over the ledge. So I can't like chase him. And like corner him. Like look at He goes way too far. I just. And then he just runs away. Is my copy like glitched? Because I have a literal physical copy that I'm running this from. From 20 years ago. And I just. I hope it's not broken. That would be really bad. Good God. Okay. Let's give it like 60 more seconds. Because this is... I might just do it at the beginning of the next part. Because Al's penthouse took way too long as it was. And this would just be the cream of the crop. Right. I'll, I'll look up on YouTube how to do it. But like, look at... He's like juking me. He's the master of the jukes, man. Look at... He can't even hit me at point blank range. This is sad. Also, my voice is getting hoarse. So... I don't know. I, I have to be missing something. There has to be something to be said about this. The butt stomp won't work, right? I can't, like, scare him into submission. It's like, hug me, father. I have not been loved. Father! I can't, like, jump up on that. I can't deflect his balls back at him. Am I supposed to shoot something else? I, I honestly don't remember. This is, this is, it's, it's the cringe, man. Yeah, I will take that. Just We're just going to keep dancing around like a couple of dummies. This is the father-son dance that we never had in middle school. <laughs> um, yeah, I am at a complete loss. I honestly, I don't get it. I'm missing something. There's something obvious that I'm missing. Someone is screaming it at me, but lasers don't work. My Y button to do anything. I'm constantly locked onto him. This, this light... Am I supposed to hit the light? Destroy it? Something we've never had to do before? Butt stomp the light? Nothing? 
What are you doing? Zerg. Dead. Listen. Listen. I know you're not a fan. See, he just, he just like slips out of the way at the last second. Weird. All right. See, uh, I, I don't get it. Join me next time. I will have it figured out. And we will probably be near the end of the game. Hopefully with the hover boots in tow. But man, that... Uh, that kind of sucks. <laughs> Damn, now I'm sad. I'll see you guys next time.